I'm gonna show you a demo of, of how this moves and everything else. And um, I hit the wrong button the first time when it was resting on the concrete down there. And I turned it off real quick because it would have just eaten right through the concrete. You can see some, some concrete dust on the, those tungsten carbide tips. I'm have a little gouge there as a reminder to myself. This thing is, is a beefcake. <laughs> Folks, how we doing? Welcome to GoodWorks Tractors. Today, we've got a brand new tool, at least for us, that we've never used before. We're gonna show you all the features, kind of show you the close-ups of the construction of it as well. We have a lot of uses coming up for this tool right here, but the first one we're probably gonna do is gonna be coming up uh, some driveway expansion for the gravel drive. Play around with it down there, a pretty, well, an area that's gonna be hard for me to screw up. So a good first test, a first use for me doing that. So stay tuned for that video too. Now this is a power rake. You can see it mounted on a skid steer. They are gonna have varying widths. This is gonna be an 84 inch wide model. And for all you tractor owners out there, they do make a three point mounted model as well. So this is an expensive tool, all right? So this isn't just for a homeowner that has just a small little area to tackle. It's just not gonna be worth the investment. So maybe you can rent something in that kind of a case. But if you have um, a landscaping company or a construction company or a lot of huge projects at your homestead uh, that are an ongoing need or you wanna add it to your portfolio, that's the kind of situation where this makes sense. So the more generic name is a power rake, but Reist calls it a roto rake, all right? And it's got these carbide teeth that are on the end. Now the projects I'm gonna use this for are gonna be to help prepare the ground for a driveway, uh, work up the, the top layers of soil out there to scoop those out. And you can see kind of around the perimeter of this concrete pad, you know, we just moved in here. I don't have the full history, but it, there's enough stone to think that at one point this was all, all gravel around here, but it just needs to all be redone. So I'm gonna use this rake to rework three sides of the building around here and then lay down more gravel on top of that too. I'm sure we're gonna have other projects out here as well that we need to tackle, but those are just some of the uses, you know, for, for landscape redoing. You know, if I redo part of my yard, this would come in really handy to redo and, and work up everything and start over from scratch and smooth it out. So renovations like that, construction sites, parking lot renovations, all sorts of stuff. If you have a big, nasty project to tackle, I'm sure some of you guys out there have used tools like this. You know all about them. And if you do, list those other uses down below so folks can kind of brainstorm and have a good idea of what they can do with it. For skid steers, you're gonna have 48, 60, 72, and 84 inch models. So this one's the 84, it's the heaviest one, weighs about almost 1,300 pounds. The 48 inch on the low end is gonna weigh a little over 700 pounds. So, you know, if you're 60 or 72, you're somewhere in the middle. The 48 inch runs off of 12 to 20 GPMs for your hydraulic system. The 60, 72, and 84 are that 18 to 30 GPM range. Now on the tractor side, it is gonna be a three-point mounted system. It's gonna run off the PTO, but that PTO is gonna drive a hydraulic power pack that's on the roto rake itself. And so the standard 540 RPM rear PTO will operate that and drive the hydraulic motor that's inside there to spin this auger. Now lift capacity is gonna be a concern because the 60 inch unit weighs 1,350 pounds. The 84 inch unit weighs 1,500 pounds. So, a tiny little tractor is not gonna lift this thing up. You have, a, have to have a pretty good lift capacity, you know, like a three series tractor, Kubota L series tractor, that kind of thing, at minimum to be able to have enough lift capacity to move the smaller units around. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a ballast weight solution for your tractor. You know I'm all about safety and this is just a perfect match. Liquid ballast is one of the most cost effective solutions. In fact, there's liquid ballast on this tractor right now, right inside these rear tires. So it's hidden, it's out of the way, it gives you that extra stability you need when you're using the front end loader, it gives you safety to keep those rear wheels planted on the ground, and it gives you traction when you need it. Well, why RimGuard? It is a natural product that is gonna be safe around animals and livestock in case you get a puncture and it leaks out. That means it's also gonna be safe on your wheels as well. You know the old calcium chloride that'll rust those things out and ruin them. It is also the heaviest natural ballast weight on the market today, and the most convenient, which is available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. So head on over to RimGuardSolutions.com to find a dealer near you. You know, so that eyeball test, just looking at a piece of equipment can kind of tell you a lot of how it's made. And this thing is, is a beefcake. <laughs> it is very chunky, very thick steel all around. I mean, even on this little trim piece here, it's thick steel. These blades down below, the tube steel all around, everything's beefy on these gauge wheels. Everywhere you look, it's thick 
thick steel. And that's where you get 1,300 pounds for a piece of equipment like this. Now this is set up with all the bells and whistles, right? So you can see your hydraulic connections here. That's what's gonna drive everything on the hydraulics on this unit. You have a separate connection going to the 14 pin connector because there's a couple of additional hydraulic cylinder, cylinders that are on here. You're gonna have this cylinder up top that you can see and that's going to allow this thing to tilt this way, all right? So you can make swales if you need to. Another one back here we'll show you as well. That's gonna allow this, kind of like a snowplow, would angle left or right. You can angle this one way or the other. So if you have rocks and other debris building up, you can get that out of your way or, or move things off to the side. Now these little wings right here allow you to change position. You can open this up. Oop, kicked it out too far. Move it out a little bit wider if you want to like that and open it up to trap uh, more of it and make it more of a soft edge instead of that, that hard straight edge if you want to on this side. Same thing on the other side. And in the center, this can, this can oscillate, these wheels up here. So uh, you can pull this out. Let's see, that probably has some pressure on it. You probably have to get the pressure off just right. But you can lift this bracket out. And so these front two wheels will freely twist and, 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 and kind of free float and won't be locked in together. So if you want to have more uh, give as you're uh, moving along, you can adjust it with that there as well. So a couple things going on here in the side. So you've got this adjustable um, kind of wall sort of like on the front and you have these teeth that are back here. Now, these locations are interchangeable. So if you wanted to have a really, um, oh, solid cutting edge if you're doing a ditch, for example, you could take this edge and put it on the front if you wanted to. Uh, and you could just leave this kind of wing right off. The way that it's positioned now is it's kind of open, allowing more material to kind of draw into the rotor and collect there. You can square it off if you want to as well and treat it more like a grater box and, and push things along too. So because these parts are interchangeable and this one moves, you have some flexibility and options in how you want to set it up. Now this is a 10 inch diameter rotor down here that is bi-directional. It can go forward or reverse, so you can go both ways with it. It is equipped with tungsten carbide teeth that last for years. And it's also equipped with a dual motor design, driving 40% more torque than the original. Again, 25 degrees of angle, 28 degrees of tilt. So a lot of flexibility with this unit to contour the land how you see fit. Back here on the Skistier Quick Attach plate, you are gonna see a built-in parking stand. You're gonna have a step up on either side, as well as a cover over your solenoid body. And for you tractor owners, the same features and options are available for the PTO model. But of course, this is gonna be mounted on the back side of a tractor, not the front, compared to the front side of a skid steer. Also, this is made up in Canada, just across the border, so it isn't made in the USA, but it's pretty darn close, made in North America. That's good enough for me. But it's one thing to talk about a piece of equipment, give you all the features, say it's built well. It's another thing to put it to work. We're gonna do that next, so stick around for that video. We are a Reese dealer, so if you wanna get one of these attachments, we're happy to help. Check out the website, goodworkstractors.com. If you're looking for something else for your skid steer or for your tractor too for the loader or the three-point hitch we probably have you covered there as well if you enjoy equipment videos we'd love to have you tag along completely free just hit that subscribe button right down below i want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time stay safe we'll see you soon